Welcome back to the session on Applied Mathematics 1 by KT to AT Tutorials. We have started with the chapter called Complex Numbers. In our first session, we learned De Moivre's theorem and we saw problems based on that. In this session, we will study hyperbolic and inverse hyperbolic functions. After completing this session, we will have an idea of hyperbolic functions and inverse hyperbolic functions. We will see some standard results on hyperbolic functions and relationship between hyperbolic functions and trigonometric functions. Finally, we will try to understand the topic by solving few problems. Hyperbolic functions. Hyperbolic functions are analogous to trigonometric functions. For example, trigonometric sine function is defined as sin x equal to e raised to i x minus e raised to minus i x divided by 2i, which we have seen in last session. Hyperbolic sine function is defined as sin hyperbolic x equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by 2. Cos hyperbolic x is equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by 2. Tan hyperbolic x is similarly defined as tan x, that is sin hyperbolic x divided by cos hyperbolic x. Other functions like cosec hyperbolic x, sec hyperbolic x and cot hyperbolic x are defined similar to cosec x, sec x and cot x. Now see these results. If we differentiate sin hyperbolic x with respect to x, we will get cos hyperbolic x. And if we differentiate cos hyperbolic x with respect to x, we will get plus sin hyperbolic x. Kindly note this because d by dx of cos x equal to minus sin x, but d by dx of cos hyperbolic x equal to sin hyperbolic x. Now we will see relationship between trigonometric and hyperbolic functions. We know the formula of sin x. Now replace x by i x and we will get next step. Using i square equal to minus 1, we will get sin i x equal to e raised to minus x minus e raised to x divided by 2i. In order to remove i from denominator, we will multiply and divide it by i and we will again put i square equal to minus 1. Finally, we will get sin i x equal to i into bracket e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by 2. But e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by 2 is sin hyperbolic x. Hence, sin i x equal to i sin hyperbolic x. Similarly, we can prove that cos i x equal to cos hyperbolic x. Now, in sin hyperbolic x formula, replace x by i x. Therefore, sin hyperbolic i x is equal to e raised to i x minus e raised to minus i x divided by 2. After rationalization, we will get sin hyperbolic i x is equal to i into e raised to i x minus e raised to minus i x divided by 2 i. But that is equal to sin x. Therefore, sin hyperbolic i x is equal to i sin x. Similarly, we can prove that cos hyperbolic i x is equal to cos x. Kindly make note of these standard results which are going to be useful while solving problems. Now let us move towards inverse hyperbolic functions. Here some results on inverse hyperbolic functions are given. Let us have a look on their proofs. Now let inverse hyperbolic sin x is equal to z. Therefore sin hyperbolic z is equal to x. Now using the definition of hyperbolic sin z, we will get e raised to z minus e raised to minus z divided by 2 is equal to x. That is e raised to z minus e raised to minus z is equal to 2x. Now put e raised to minus z is equal to 1 by e raised to z and multiply entire equation throughout by e raised to z. Then take 2x to the left hand side. So we will get e raised to 2z minus 2x e raised to z minus 1 is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation. Hence we can find out e raised to z by formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we will get e raised to z is equal to 2x plus or minus square root of 4x square plus 4 divided by 2. That is e raised to z is equal to x plus or minus square root of x square plus 1. But square root of x square plus 1 is greater than x. Hence we cannot put x minus square root of x square plus 1. Because after taking log we will get negative value which is not possible. 
therefore z is equal to log of x plus square root of x square plus 1 Similarly, we can prove that inverse hyperbolic cos x is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus 1. Now we will see next proof. Let inverse hyperbolic tan x is equal to z. Therefore, hyperbolic tan z is equal to x. Now using the definition of hyperbolic tan z, we will get e raised to z minus e raised to minus z divided by e raised to z plus e raised to minus z is equal to x. By using invert and dope, we will get next step. Then we will use component of dividend dope. So we will get e raised to z plus e raised to minus z plus e raised to z minus e raised to minus z that is 2 e raised to z divided by e raised to z plus e raised to z minus e raised to z minus of minus e raised to minus z that is plus e raised to minus z. So we will get 2 e raised to minus z which is equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. Therefore, e raised to 2z will be equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. Now, taking log on both sides, we will get 2z is equal to log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. Hence, z is equal to half into log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. Now, these are standard results on hyperbolic functions, which you will find analogous to trigonometric identities. Kindly make note of this because there is small difference between trigonometric identities and hyperbolic identities because cos square x plus sin square x is equal to 1 but hyperbolic cos square x minus hyperbolic sin square x is equal to 1. So you will find these results useful while solving problems. These are multiple angle formulae for hyperbolic functions. Now we will solve problems based on this subtopic. Prove that tan inverse of i into x minus a divided by x plus a is equal to minus i by 2 log a by x. Can you solve this problem? Probably you may get confused. Many times it happens that we know which formulae are to be used but we don't understand where to use this formulae because problem is asked in such a way that we don't understand how to start. This problem is of that kind. In such cases, it is better to simplify the question. Now, what do we mean by that? We will see that. What we will do is we will put minus i by 2 log a by x is equal to i by 2 log x by a. Then we can write that equal to i log x by a raised to 1 by 2, which is equal to i log square root of x divided by square root of a. Now put tan inverse to the right hand side so that we will get tan i log square root of x by square root of a is equal to i into bracket x minus a divided by x plus a which we have to prove. This is called as simplification of the question. Now we will prove this statement. Now LHS is equal to tan i log square root of x by square root of a. We know that tan i theta is equal to i hyperbolic tan theta where theta is equal to log square root of x by square root of a. Then we will use the formula of hyperbolic tan theta is equal to e raised to theta minus e raised to minus theta divided by e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta. We know that e raised to log of square root of x by square root of a is equal to square root of x by square root of a. Similarly, e raised to log of square root of a by square root of x is equal to square root of a by square root of x. Then by doing cross multiplication, we will get next step. Hence, tan of i log square root of x by square root of a is equal to i into bracket x minus a divided by x plus a, which is equal to RHS. Hence, we have proved the first result. Now, let us take second problem. If tan of pi by 4 plus i b is equal to r e raised to i theta, show that r is equal to 1 tan theta is equal to hyperbolic sin 2v and hyperbolic tan v is equal to tan theta by 2. Here we will use tan of a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a into tan b. Now tan pi by 4 is equal to 1 and tan of pi v is equal to i hyperbolic tan v. Then we will multiply and divide it by 1 plus i hyperbolic tan v. 
here we will use a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and here we will use a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square now put i square is equal to minus 1 and then separate real and imaginary parts therefore tan of pi by 4 plus i v is equal to 1 minus hyperbolic tan square v divided by 1 plus hyperbolic tan square v plus i 2 hyperbolic tan v divided by 1 plus hyperbolic tan square v then put hyperbolic tan v is equal to hyperbolic sin v divided by hyperbolic cos v then we will get next step now we know that hyperbolic cos square v minus hyperbolic sin square v is equal to 1 and hyperbolic cos square v plus hyperbolic sin square v is equal to hyperbolic cos 2 v. Similarly, 2 hyperbolic sin v, hyperbolic cos v is equal to hyperbolic sin 2 v. By this, we have separated real and imaginary part. But remember, we have to prove r is equal to 1. How we will prove this? Now, the above equation is of the form z is equal to x plus i y, which is equal to r e raised to i theta. Remember, in first session, we have seen that r is equal to square root of x square plus y square. Therefore, r is equal to square root of 1 by hyperbolic cos square 2v plus hyperbolic sin square 2v divided by hyperbolic cos square 2v which on simplification will be equal to 1. Also, theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. So, put the value of y as well as x, then we will get tan theta is equal to hyperbolic sin 2v. Now, let us try to prove the third result. We have proved that hyperbolic sin 2v is equal to tan theta. Therefore, 2v is equal to hyperbolic sin inverse of tan theta. Now, use the formula of hyperbolic sin inverse of x, which is equal to log of square root of x square plus 1 plus x. So, we will get this step. Now, put 1 plus tan square theta is equal to 6 square theta. Therefore, 2v is equal to log of sin theta by cos theta plus 1 by cos theta. Now, we will do some manipulation. We know that a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2 by b plus b square. So, cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 the whole square is equal to cos square theta by 2 plus sin square theta by 2 plus 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2, which is equal to 1 plus sin theta. Similarly, we will write cos theta is equal to cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2. Then on simplification, we will get 2v is equal to log cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2. Now, in the numerator as well as in the denominator, divide by cos theta by 2. So, that we will get 2v is equal to log of 1 plus tan theta by 2 divided by 1 minus tan theta by 2. Therefore, v is equal to 1 by 2 log of 1 plus tan theta by 2 divided by 1 minus tan theta by 2, which is equal to hyperbolic tan inverse of tan theta by 2, because this formula is of inverse hyperbolic tan x. Therefore, v is equal to hyperbolic tan inverse of tan theta by 2. Therefore, hyperbolic tan v is equal to tan theta by 2, which is the required result. By this, we have finished our second subtopic in complex numbers. Next time, we will see logarithm of complex numbers. Till that time, bye-bye.